This is Countdown Cooking with John Gruber. Today I'm sharing with you my grandmother's recipe for a simple salad dressing. The simple salad dressing has a unique method and I really think you need to try it. May I have your attention please? It's time for the final countdown. <laughs> the show starts in... Well, again, with this particular recipe, it's going to be a quick recipe. So I'm going to do the best at keeping it quick. Now, the first thing my grandmother did, and let me tell you, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard of, but it worked for her. You take one peeled clove of garlic and you rub it against the edge of the bowl and you keep rubbing it around the bowl and, and just keep rubbing it all that garlic flavor it kind of like minces itself and mashes itself right against that bowl so you can just keep rubbing it until you've got i would say the whole bowl kind of covered in this wonderful clove of garlic now this garlic you just throw it in your pot the next step then is to use one teaspoon of red wine or white wine vinegar i'm going to use red wine vinegar just because that's what i have on hand now true to grandma fashion i'm not going to measure it but it's approximately one t teaspoon there's also going to be a half of a teaspoon of mustard. My grandmother always used Grey Poupon Dijon mustard for her recipes. I'm not using that because I don't have any on hand. Again, that's about a half of a teaspoon. Then she also used a half a teaspoon of mayonnaise. Now remember, my grandmother was French, so that explains the Dijon mustard, explains the red wine vinegar, will explain the mayonnaise, I hate to think that she made her own just for this recipe, but she always had mayonnaise on hand. And so that is part of the recipe. Now, then all she did was whisk this up. She then added some shallots. And shallots are pretty similar to an onion, so I imagine if you used about a teaspoon and a half of onions, finely diced onions, that would also do the trick for this recipe. Now again, this is really simple, um, but it is like a foolproof method for just a plain old green salad. The last thing I'm going to be doing is adding about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. That's I would say two pinches. So two pinches go in there. I'll just get rid of the rest of the mayonnaise on the spoon because I kind of need that for the recipe. And it pretty much just coats your shallots that you have in here or the onion. Now, because we're just doing a green salad, we're not adding tomatoes. We're not adding the onion because there's already kind of onion in the dressing. And we're not going to be adding, you know, carrots or anything. We're just doing basic leafy greens. Now, for this recipe, you are going to want about eight cups of leafy greens. That serves about four people for a pretty decent sized salad. It's like two cups of salad per person. So if it's pre-dinner, you might want to cut back unless you're feeding like eight people and then you could almost get away with those full eight cups because then everybody has kind of like a cup of salad before a big dinner. And then the following bit is you're going to be using three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now with my grandmother's recipe, I'm almost going to guarantee she used vegetable oil or canola oil some sort of oil that she had on hand, not 
olive oil. I don't believe that she had olive oil in her kitchen. But in this case, we're going to be slowly whisking in uh, the three tablespoons of olive oil. And I have it on kind of like a drizzle, a drizzle bowl, and I'm just going to slowly whisk it in. And now that I've whisked the three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in my salad, it kind of created a nice creamy consistency. And I'm now just going to top my salad with it. Now, again, if I were to do this for a big dinner, I would use a bigger bowl, whisk everything together, then toss the eight cups of salad in there, the leafy green. But instead, I'm just going to drizzle this over top. And I'm just gonna do about two table, or two little teaspoons of this, this dressing. Or that is my grandmother's recipe for leafy green salad. This is what she always served. Let me tell you mm, the memories that this recipe has given me. Remember to rub that garlic all over the bowl to give it that special je ne sais quoi.